Hey guys, George Lynch at Legendary Gear. Just want to tell you I'm so excited to be here to do this little calling instruction video for you on the little double read chaos duck call that you all are going to get. Um, it's an honor to be able to be part of this. We at Legendary Gear are very excited and very proud because you guys are the future. So sit back, open your minds, and we're going to sit here and, and give you the the meat and potatoes of getting started on a duck call. And what I'm teaching you on this chaos, you'll be able to take that to any duck call and operate the same way. So always remember that perfect practice makes perfect. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start from the basics and then we're going to go up and I'm going to try to teach you the, the fundamentals of how to get a good quack on this call. So if for you guys who are right handed out there, I designed this call to be able to sit in your hand. So if you're right handed, you're gonna set that in your thumb and your forefinger. I like to rest this down and you notice that we made this ledge here on the exhaust. This is be the insert, this is the exhaust, this is the barrel, and then this is the mouthpiece. So if you look at the insert at this exhaust, I like to lay my second finger on that ledge. So what that does, it brings the other three fingers down. We're not closing it tight because then ah, ah, it can't breathe. It becomes a squirrel call. But you want to sit here and, and uh, lay your fingers like this. So once we've done that, to be able to put your mouth onto the call is pretend that you're drinking a bottle of Coke. My bottom lip is on the bottom of the mouthpiece. And my top lip goes firmly on the top. I will put more pressure on the top lip than I do the bottom, and I'll explain that later. Now, to me, the most important thing, whether duck call, goose call, turkey call, predator call, is air presentation. So what I'm teaching you, if you get anything out of this uh, instructional, is try to master the perfect air presentation. So, you know, the old timers used to say it takes that old good guttural sound to get that good duck, and let me tell you, the only sound that comes from your tummy goes out the other end. It's air comes up from your diaphragm, your lungs. And when you suck in your air, where does it stop? It stops right here, okay? And I call that the push point. So when I'm sucking my air, I'm holding and stopping and holding it right there at that push point. Now what we wanna do is we wanna learn be able to put a little voice inflection, but also to learn how to control that air. So this little exercise I'm gonna teach you, once you get you're holding a duck call, put the call right to your mouth. And what I'm doing is a he, 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 almost like hey with my throat. He, but I'm pushing the air behind it. He, he. And then so what I'm going to do is try to get this one note. We'll go in the back of the call. Again. So now, now that we're getting that, and once you start getting that word, because you don't want it to sound like, start the air easy. To drag that note it just in one perfect line so once you got that mastered then what you want to do is break that up in the segments and you're it's going to sound like this now what i really want to emphasize again and you can watch your partners look over and watch your partner make sure that they're not doing this with their cheek then you're blowing it like a kazoo so make sure you check one another and look it's coming from the throat if you watch i'm almost sucking my cheeks in and i'm pushing right here
Okay, now that we got that, and like you said, check one another and make sure that you're not puffing, that you're looking like a bullfrog over there sitting in the corner. So what we're gonna do, once we got those segments, and you'll see that I haven't used my hand at all. So the hand is not that critical. The only time the hand becomes critical is when you're choking that call off. But if you learn to operate your air and your throw right, I can operate a duck call just without the hand. What the hand will start doing is it becomes a deflector and start deflecting that note and we'll get into that. But now that I broke it up into segments and you learn how to get that quack, what I wanna do is now learn cadence. Now when you hear that old mallard hen out there, she's just not going quack, 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 quack. She's got that wah, 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 wah. So that first note is usually going to be the longest and the higher pitch. And then I drop the second note and the third and fourth are quicker. So now that we got the... Now I'm going to break it in the cadence. Again, that's going to come with practice. I can tell you all about how the air is supposed to be presented, but for the mind and the muscles and everything to work together, you have to be able to feel that and then listen to that and then practice that. Again, like I said, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So now that we got that hen, we got that cadence and keep working on that. The next we're going to work on is what we call the feed. The feed is pretty simple. There's, to me, there's two types of feed. There's a slow feed, which is actually the real feed of ducks on the water. If you relate this, if it was in language, you, it broke it up to human language, you'd be like kids saying yum yum when they eat ice cream. That's that ducks float down that water. They're just, it's a content sound. It'll work good on ducks flying over and it catches that. Sometimes just the feed sound is all I'll do to finish ducks to turn them and just drop them in. So I'm gonna, it's what I'm kind of doing is the tip of my tongue behind my bottom teeth and ta -ta, ta -ta. So you're going to get both practice, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. kind of do one, do two in a row, then do one with three behind it, but learn to practice and you're breaking that rhythm up. So again, so that is what I call the short feed. There's also a fast feed. Now, a lot of times, guys, if you listen to ducks, especially when they're flying over mallards, um, when they're flying over, you'll hear that. That is what a fast feed is, and I'm going to give you that. What we're doing on that is I'm just do 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 do. You can do that or dig 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 dig. The starting you off probably easier to do a do 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 do. Again, you can practice that long, you know. You can practice that in the long version, but that's trying to teach you to control the call. But again, in live ducks and on the water, you want to just break that fast feed up into segments. Okay, so now we're going to the slow feed, the fast feed, and then we're going to talk about the quack. Quack is to me, there's, there's a good quack and then there's a bad quack when you're a duck hunter. What I like is a nice content, soft quack. And what I'm gonna show you on that, and you'll notice my hand, I'm, I'm gonna come down and, and put a little more back pressure in that call. It deepens that up a little bit, but I'm not pinching that off. And as I'm doing my quack, 
I'm dragging that note. And it just takes a little practice with timing. But it's rick, 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 rick. Now here I did that soft, and that's if I if you learn to do one quack, learn to practice on nothing but a soft a soft quack. It's going to be good for teaching your your muscle control in your throat. But the reason I say that when you start doing a When you start doing that fast and hard quack, that's usually the sound that a mallard hen is when she's alerted and been flushed up. And if you've ever jumped a duck and you hear him, quack, 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 she'll make that alarm note. So that's why I always say there's a good quack and a, and a bad quack. So learn only the good quack, what I call the soft quack. And if you're only going to do a quack, do a soft one. So just one thing you want to remember that if I'm doing that warning quack and that bad quack and I'm trying to get birds, say you sit there and you, you've got them coming in and now they're, you know, you've done the content, you've done that soft feed and you're getting the good hen and he starts coming in. I'm telling you, if he gets to 40 yards and you hit that bad quack, he knows that that's danger and, because it's only when they get flushed and he's been with tons of hens that flushed and they know that alert sound to others you know, get out of here. And that's exactly what it is, is, you know, she's alerting others to get out, get out. So to say if there's ever a time to do that bad quack would be never. So I cannot emphasize enough of being patient and working on each process first before you go to the next. And remember when you're doing that, that first trying to get that, that hen sound and dragging that note, you want to try to go for 10 seconds, but push that note. And when you can get that note where you can, and everything is called control. When you're controlling the call and the call is not controlling you, that is what I'm trying to teach you. So when you get to that, then you go to the next step. And once you've mastered that, go to the next step. Then once you got all that you're going through, then you'll start putting that together in sequence. You can practice with your buddies. You can sit there and, hey, I see a duck and, you know, each one go. Listen to your buddies. And I'll tell you another great thing. Take your phone, record yourself and listen to yourself because you're going to be your best critic. And if you gotten so far in here and you think that you can go to another level you can go to our youtube channel which is legendary gear with george lynch i'll have some more advanced uh levels of, of using a duck call that you can go to and also you know we can put our um email or phone number on there so if you ever wanted to reach out and you have a problem you know i can always work with you because you guys are the future again i appreciate everyone every one of you i appreciate those who are giving their those helpers are giving all their time and efforts and who care about you guys. And it's truly a blessing. So go through this. I hope you guys enjoy this. These calls will give you many, many uh, uses in the field and, and hopefully a lot of success. But more than anything, they're going to bring you a lot of fun and learning how to master. And, you know, and it's just a pride thing to learn. And I really appreciate and I'm proud of every one of you and what you're doing You because you guys are the future. You're the kind of guys that helps take care of this old man when he gets older that I can rely on and you start taking me duck hunting. But you know what? I'm so glad that you guys are in the part of this organization. I hope uh, we always remember, hunt safe, hunt smart, and may the good Lord be your guide.